So when it comes to my Angular apps, I believe in pushing as much state into the URL as possible. This creates URLs that are shareable, are bookmarkable, and are generally, I think, uh, create a more intuitive user experience, especially when it comes to the back button. But when it comes to things like search filters, arbitrarily pushing data into the URL can lead to a non-intuitive back button experience. So in the cases of search filtering, I tend to like to use the replace URL option to replace the current history item as opposed to growing the history stack with every interaction. So to see this in action, let's say I have a people list here and I have an input box that I can search for people. So let's say I start typing Trisha, and what you can see is that as I type here, I'm adding a filter parameter into the currently activated route. And in fact, when I back button here, you can see that it backs out of the filter. And that filter is being both used to uh, narrow down the list of items here and of course drive state into the URL. Now, the nice thing here is that even as I'm changing the URL with every keystroke, I'm not growing the history. So now if I click through to Trisha and I look at the back button, what you'll see is that there's only a single item here in my history and that's because I was replacing the history item with every keystroke as opposed to growing the history items with every keystroke. Now if I click the back button, I get taken back to the correct results, but I still have a more intuitive experience because now if I hit the back button again, instead of just removing the A and then the I and the C and so on and so forth, clicking the back button here takes me back to the home page, which I believe in this particular context leads to a more intuitive experience. So just again, once uh, here, if we go and I start typing, I have items here in the URL. I have the filtering here. I click through my back button only results in a single item. I can click on that item. I get taken back to the correct results and then clicking again, I get taken back to the home. I can go forward to the correct results. I can even refresh here, and you see I have the correct results because that's being pulled out of the URL, and even now my back button still brings me to the right place. So how does this work? Well, if we jump over into our uh, people list view component, we can see here that I have an input. It uses this form filter, and with every change to this model, I'm applying that filter. So now if we jump down to the apply filter, we can see that it's doing two things. It's applying the filter to the results and that's what's actually filtering the view of the DOM nodes. But then it's also applying the filter to the route. And if we look at the apply filter to route, what we can see is that every keystroke into that filter is executing a navigation on the router. It's gonna store the current form filter as a filter parameter on the route and it's going to replace the current URL, meaning it's going to replace the current item on the history. And that's why we don't get that crazy back button growth where every keystroke adds a new item to the back button queue. And then of course we're just setting the title here so that we can see it more clearly in the back button. And um, when we refresh the page or we navigate back, you can just see that when I initialize the view, I'm pulling the current filter out of the snapshot of the params and I'm using that to pre-populate the, the input. So that's how we're getting that. Um, if I go here and I type in CIA, right? And now if I hit back, that filter CIA is being pulled out of the URL and being used to pre-populate the filter. And then of course, in my ng on init, when I get the people from my people service, you can see that I apply the filter to the results. So this is taking that filter that was pulled out of the URL, used to initialize the view model, and then that view model here is being applied to the, uh, the rendering of the DOM list. So again, this doesn't always make sense. I'm not saying as a flat out rule that you should always use replace URL when you're dealing with search filtering. For example, if there was a submit button here, I think I would certainly want to add a new history item to the stack every time the user submitted the form because that's an explicit navigation. But something like this, where it's not necessarily an explicit navigation, but it is a state that we want to keep track of, then by using the replace URL option, we can create that intuitive back button, back button experience.